the Soap Pops Curvies. Today I'm going to be reviewing Curvy Girls Can't Date Quarterbacks. This book is written by Kelsey Stelting. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Curvy Girls Can't Date Quarterbacks, written by Kelsey Stelting. This is the first book in the Curvy Girl Club. There's quite a few books actually in this series so far. I think from last count there's 10 or 11. However, the first five are the immediate friend group that you'd be that you're introduced to throughout this book. Okay, so the genre. So the genre for this book is romance, young adult, high school, sports, plus size, and contemporary. And how does the book compare with other books in the genre? So this book was a sweet young adult romance for the majority. It focused heavily on bullying and body image, especially relating to plus size figures. It followed the regular high school storyline with the conclusion focusing around homecoming and graduation. How does it match up to your expectations of that genre? So unfortunately, it was not exactly what I was hoping for. The author claims this series is her posh, her push for body positivity. However, I felt as if it did not hit the mark exactly. So I understand where she's coming from, but whilst reading the book, I found myself feeling worse rather than better. So the summary, curvy girls deserve happily ever afters too. I'm a big girl, plus sized, whatever. I'm sick of hearing about it, especially since my doctor diagnosed me with PCOS. So when mean girl Merritt shot her mouth off about how fat people should just lose weight, I couldn't take it anymore. And now I've got a huge problem to prove curvy girls like me can get happily ever afters too. I have to get our school's quarterback, Beckett Langley, to take me to homecoming. And he doesn't even know I exist. But it's not hopeless. Four other girls just like me are willing to help because enough is enough. I will not lose this bet. The analysis. I wrote quite a lot. <laughs> I find that as soon as I finish a book, if I write the analysis straight away, it is usually quite a bit more than what I don't. <laughs> so plot and theme. Rory is a plus size high school senior. She has struggled with her weight since she first hit puberty. To make, make matters worse, her mother, the school's health teacher, keeps making her take pregnancy tests, even though she is a virgin, and putting her on diets in order to make her happy. Safe to say she's not happy. One morning after being diagnosed with PCOS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, Rory had had enough of the bullies. The head cheerleader was bad-mouthing curvy girls, making everyone who had a clothing size larger than a single digit feel awful. Rory got into an argument with Merritt, resulting in a bet to win the heart of the school quarterback, Merritt's ex-boyfriend. Rory has had a crush on Beckett for years. However, he doesn't seem to know that she exists. Or does he? Throughout the book, we follow as Rory and Beckett get to know one another. We, fi we find out that he is not the typical jock, seeing people for who they are inside and not just their appearances. He supports Rory when she is faced with difficult situations in and outside of school. Pacing, emotion, ending, and plot holes. So I felt the book was a good length for the contents. It did feel a bit long-winded throughout the middle, but that is to be expected in a young adult book like this. There was a third act breakup, which was hard to read through as I'm not a fan of those, but it did work to progress the storyline. I felt that the character's weight played too big a role in the book, especially regarding the mother and her constant criticisms. It did not have to end up this way, if Rory had just spoken to her mother about how she was making her feel. I know that is easier said than done. <laughs> so the emotion throughout the story was quite heavy. As a plus size woman myself, I felt the emotions in the story hit close to home. The angst and heartache portrayed throughout had me in tears quite a lot, to be completely honest. It did not feel empowering how the author meant it to. I'm now invested and need to read the rest of the friend group's books, although I'm not sure how I feel about doing that. The end of this book was nice, with the main characters coming together. It was the typical happily ever after for now. A little bit about the two main characters. So there's Aurora, or Rory Hutton. She's a senior in high school, a curvy girl, an artist, a wallflower, daughter of the health teacher, diagnosed with PCOS, and trying to overcome her negative self-image. And then we have Beckett Langley. He is the senior in high school, the quarterback. He is a secret photographer, manages the social page for a bakery, 
over six feet tall and doesn't get involved with social status and drama. So the recommendation. This is a tricky book when it comes to recommendations. I found this book through the author on Facebook. She wrote this series as a way to promote body positivity for women and girls. Although I applaud her efforts and see where she is going with the themes of the books, I feel like she didn't quite hit the mark. I feel as if she put too much focus on the negative stereotypes and not the positive throughout this book. It was honestly a bit hard to read at some points. And my review. So I gave this book three out of five stars. So I feel like this book missed the mark when it came to empowering women with curves. It was a nice high school romance if you are comfortable with your own skin or in your own skin. Okay, so thank you for watching my book review on Curvy Girls Can't Date Quarterbacks. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.